Another engaging edition of Sports Tonight has just kicked off from Channels TV Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. Always a delight to have you join us. I'm Austin Okonakwa. And on the show tonight, football fans in Nigeria are still reacting to that disturbing video that the Super Eagles coach Sunday Olise posted online on Sunday. They love their football and they want to see an end to all of those talks, particularly tough words coming from the Sports Writers Association of Nigeria. We'll keep you updated as regards that one. Also, on the show tonight, we'll travel to Tunis in Tunisia, where the future of lawn tennis in Nigeria is looking good. Our junior tennis coach, um, Mohamed Ubale, is confident that with the quality being um, displayed in Tunis, that Nigeria can someday become a superpower country in tennis. Also on the show tonight, somebody believes that Shegun Toriola can go to Sudan, make it to the final of the Af Africa Top 16, and qualify for the 2016 Rio Olympics. You want to know who is giving that assurance? Then you should stay with us on the program. Also, we'll talk about boxing in Nigeria. We are worried that the team has not been called to camp for the Olympics qualifying championship. The African Boxing Championship is supposed to kick off on the 8th of next month in Cameroon. But the good news is that something is coming out of that. We'll also let you know what's going on with Aimba Football Club of Abade. Get ready for the CAF Champions League. We'll keep updates on Nasarawa and every other team in Nigeria that is getting ready for continental action. We'll also talk about the Gold Cup. It's a pre-season uh, competition in Nigeria. And then we have live games going on. Action packed to all the sports. Not also forgetting one man that has been there, done that when talking about league football in Nigeria. Victor Izeji has given 20 years of his life playing football in this country. He has called it quits. He's retired, but is still active. I'll find out what he really wants to do to develop league football in Nigeria. Let's quickly bring you to all of what we'll be doing tonight on the program because there's just so much to talk about. When you are involved, then the fun has just got it started. On Twitter, our channels underscore sports. Verified Twitter handle. You can talk to us, send us questions, comments, suggestions, particularly Nigerian football fans still reacting to that video I posted online by Super Eagles coach Sunday Olise. We we'll also like to hear your comments as regards ways we can develop league football in Nigeria. And we're also talking about boxing. Why has it been neglected for so long? Why do we need to wait till the final day to start preparing for a major, major competition as the Olympic qualifiers? We'll talk about that one and we'll see the Aimba's chances in Uganda, the team that are already in Kampala for that crucial game against Vipers FC. You think Aimba? That's what it takes. Remember, they are league champions in Nigeria. Can they go all the way in the CAF Champions League? We'll talk about that one tonight on the program. On Twitter, we're channels underscore sports. And on Facebook, we're channels I think sports. We want you to talk to us. Start talking to us now because we will be taking your comments live on the program tonight. Just also let you know that all our top stories can be viewed on our website. Um, it's channelstv.com and on YouTube, for slash channels web. If you're on the go, you can download the Channels TV app for your iPad, your iPhone, your Blackberry. Go to m.channelstv.com, download the app, just to also let you know that your Windows phones, your iOS, and even your Android phones can do the magic. It's m.channelstv.com, download the app, and you'll be part of all we will be doing tonight on the show. It's, it's that simple. It works like magic. Let me bring the guys that will be talking sports with us tonight on the program. It's a Wednesday night. Julian Adjua joins us. Julian, good to have you around again. Yeah, good evening, Austin. Good evening to all the viewers. Good evening to you in the studio. It's always a pleasure being here on Wednesday Talking Sports on Channels TV. That's right. That Julian looks fired up tonight. <laughs> but there's no Sunday only says just for you. <laughs> <laughs> My colleague Amy Adiba is also here. Amy, good to have you around. It's a pleasure to be around. Uh, a lot of things to talk about. Mm. You know? Can't That's wait. Right. That's uh, right. Good football on offer tonight mm. uh, as well across across Europe. Mm. And of course, you know, heart and minds, uh, our hearts and minds with Ayimba. Um, as they prepare hmm. to bring back the memories, uh, yes. that's, we just want we, we just want it to be like what it was in two, 2003, 2004. Mm -hmm. We are hoping that they will be able to do that for us. Okay, that's a lot of work for Emba Football Club of Baba, but they have the quality. They are defending champions of the Nigeria Professional Football League. They are in Kampala, Uganda, uh, for uh, that game against Vipers FC. We believe that they have the quality to win that one. Fasten your seatbelt. Let's go to Tunis in Tunisia, where Nigeria's under-18 tennis players are doing big things. Yeah, big things. They are 
winning in that tennis championship. It is uh, the highest ranked 18 and under tournament in Africa. Now, guess what? If they do well in that one, up next is the African Junior Championship in South Africa. National Junior Tennis Coach Mohamed Ubali spoke to us this morning on the program and he says with the talent and display in Tunis that the future for tennis in Nigeria looks bright. Julian, you know why I like this one? It's one for the future. You can even put grassroots into it for kids in school under 16, under 17, under 18. And we're already seeing their quality. Absolutely. It's, it's all about seeing their quality and it's all about catching them young. Hmm. I mean, uh, when was the last time we had a Nigerian lawn tennis player doing great things out there in ATP tournaments? Hmm. We have we've seen Kevin Anderson. He's from South Africa That's doing right. great things in Grand Slam events, also doing great things in ATP you know, um, tournaments as well. So I think it's a very good development. It's good to know that um, um, we are recording victories here and there. And right now, after this tournament, they have to progress to the African Juniors Championship taking place in South Africa. So the future looks bright for us. We need to ensure that we are next the talents of these players. They're fantastic players. Nigeria is blessed with lots of talents. Talented players in different kinds of sports. The world champion of Scrabble is a Nigerian. So looking forward, we just hope 2016 will be a better year as far as sports is concerned. That's and right. with the new uh, sport minister coming into play, uh, we've always said that um, we can only hope he can give um, as much attention as is given to football to all other sports. So mm. 2016, this is an Olympic I want to see uh, all the Nigeria contingent going to Brazil, coming back with lots of gold medals, silver medals and bronze medals as well. That's right. The Nigerian junior team uh, won the Central and West African qualifiers that was um, organized in Abuja. And that gave them qualification to the um, African junior championship that will take place next month in South Africa. Now you see the progress. They qualified from Nigeria. Now they are in Tunis. In Tunisia, doing big things as they await that competition in South Africa. And, I mean, that's the sort of progress we keep talking about. We spoke about Angel McLeod in Abuja. We're still talking about her now because she's playing competitions. Yeah, I'm impressed. I, I'll go back to what uh, Mohamed Dubali said. You know, I, I take coaches seriously. Mm. Um, they have an eye for talent. That's right. they, they work with these youngsters and, you know, they see them firsthand. They see them raw. So sometimes when they tell us, watch out for this kid, mm. it, it turns out to be true. And, you know, some of the names uh, that you've reeled out uh, as stars um, for the future. And you see, look, if you, if you don't make an attempt, you won't go anywhere. Mm. You, you can't cross your hands and sit down and say, well, you know, I've done my best, you know. If, you know, you participate in competitions, just give it your best shot. That's right. You could always go far. He know. just talked about Kevin, Kevin Anderson. I, I'm hoping, I'm trusting that uh, that time will come where you have not just one Nigerian, not just two, mm. that will rank with the best. And mm. these are the kind of uh, things that give you hope. Because if you're having 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, 14-year-olds, and a coach is telling you that, look, I'm impressed with what I'm like seeing. What I, see. the future I like what I'm seeing. The future is bright. Mm. Then you can say five, six years down the line with a proper management, with a proper assistant and support structure uh, from the Federation the and from well-meaning Nigerians. The then you, you, you see them go far in ATP tournaments and, and, and make it to Grand Slam events. Mm. And, you know, we'll be like the British <laughs> rooting for our... Uh, yeah, hype, yeah, that's the right word. Yeah, mm. not, just su not just supporting, mm. hyping. You know, tell the world they are good and before, can be better. Exactly. Before Heta Watson got to uh, Heta Watson, Laura Robson, before uh, even at the morning, before they got to wherever they got, we've heard so, so much, much noise mm. that at some point, you know, it was it was always going to work out right. for one or two of them. Mm. That's the role the media can play. We can actually um, be useful in terms of developing, um, discovering, and developing talent. And these pictures uh, that you're looking at, really good ones because they came out from the Western and Central uh, African Championship. Championship that was done in Abuja. Team Nigeria topped that one to qualify for the African Junior Championship. Now, you need to keep these names that I want to read out to you. Keep these names. They are one for the future. Angel McLeod, she's already in the top 800 ITF ranking. Top 800. She's just 16 and she's doing big things. There's also Andio Inwang. She's just joining the team but also doing big things right there in Tunisia. And then the name, you know, Aditayo Aditunji, she's based in South Africa, also playing very good tennis. So it's looking very good for the country. And as Yemi said, we need to take coaches seriously because they give enough attention to these players. They're always with them. They know their strength and their weaknesses. And Coach Mohamed Ubali says, hmm, guys, with what I'm seeing in Tunisia, the future of tennis looks 